let's talk hardware first. HPQ is on a nice little run, trying to break out. Kind of a sneaky rally in HPQ for a stock that didn't really catch a lot of attention yep. the last several years. So uh, anything in the numbers suggest it got overcooked or what? Well, I, I haven't seen anything besides the uh, the results from uh, from an EPS and top line sales. Okay, so, I mean, I'll it. talk about that first. But, yeah, it looks like on a gap basis they were estimated to earn 93 cents. They reported that, so in line. Uh, and that's just a, a uh, about a 4.4% increase compared to uh, 90 cents last year. And then, of course, sequentially, uh, they, uh, they bested the 83 cents, so about 10 cents higher than last quarter. Uh, looks like sales came in 4.05 billion versus 3.99, so that was a beat, uh, about one percent higher uh, than the uh, one one and a half percent to the 13.82 uh, billion relative to last year. So it looks like right now, and I can see now why it's down because they just re they just released their Q1 uh, EPS uh, guidance. Uh, the midpoint it looks like was 0.85, in other words, 85 cents, and now. It looks like it's down to um, 73 cents, so between 70 and 76 cents on EPS. Uh, and then, of course, their fiscal year, um, looking at the guidance as well, slightly lower, $3.61, $3.61. Looks like the midpoint is now for full fiscal year at $3.60. So they're, um, you know, they're taking it down by about $3 as a result. Uh, looks like about 7 or 8%. Okay. Um the uh, move that we had coming into this was uh, pretty impressive. And I think that the message yeah. from Best Buy, as well as Dell 2, suggests that the PC market's pretty darn sluggish still. Yes, uh, it is. And I, and I think, um, you know, this is also, you know, indicative of what we've seen in some of the other periphery companies, uh, everyone's talking about microns, you know, high bandwidth um, AI server business, but the stock has not performed well. And of course, they are one of the leaders of DRAM chips for PC. So I'm using that as a proxy for personal computing and it hasn't performed well. But the thing about um, HPQ is their uh, imaging and printing business. Um, you know, they actually went into the what's called A4. I talked to uh, a friend of mine who's actually got a printing business. Hewlett Packard is in the A4 printer business, which is those walk-up printers, which they are competing pretty aggressively with Toshiba. And what's nice about that business, it's not just the hardware, it's the service provision and the leasing of those uh, of those mainstay office copiers. So the smaller desktops, uh, you know, desk jet uh, printers that you see in the home office and also those little bit bigger ones in the office, but those walk-up printers are essentially a business that HPQ is starting to encroach on from some of those, um, you know, legacy players like Toshiba. So, but I do think their personal computing devices has been relatively sluggish, and that might be essentially why they are slightly reducing their guidance for the full year. And I say slightly because it is just basically splitting hairs, but it doesn't matter. I mean, if you just come in line and it's not good enough or don't sweeten the, uh, the inline numbers with some other deal like a dividend or a buyback they'll 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 they'll, uh, they'll sell you off and so in this case they're selling it off just fractionally based upon the 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 best guidance uh, in terms of uh the actual shareholder friendly activity that's something definitely for bulls to chew on right dividend yeah i mean that's the thing they're paying right now about a dollar ten in yields or dividends which is yielding about uh, you know three percent so looking at that relative to their earnings it's about 34, 35%, but the stock has been just, you know, like you mentioned, inching higher, just quietly moving higher uh, this particular year up about 33 or so percent. And this is again, um, you know, discounting today's after hours move, but nonetheless, the cash on the balance sheet is still robust. It's around $3.3 .3 billion of cash on the books. And the stock is, you know, when I looked at this prior, just looking at the forward, mm -hmm valuation multiples the, the price of free cash flow for the forward four quarters was around 10 times but if you look at the uh the pe or multiple it was also trading around 10 times so that gives it more fair balance but the yeah. the multiple may change just slightly because of the missed guidance and therefore yeah, uh, it's coming off a bit in the after hours by about three dollars yeah, uh seems like could have been better thanks george